I was just drying my hair. Okay, welcome to Jim Shea coming to you today from just outside Paris. <clears throat> welcome here, welcome aboard. And uh, <clears throat> why do I start off these videos? As soon as I start talking, I get a frog in the throat. Right, brand new razor to the den for me. To the den for me. Den for me. And it was kindly sent by Grace over at Yaki. Thank you much, very much, Grace. And this is the final cut razor. See that? Nice and shiny. Now this is a brass handle, zinc alloy head. It's 88 millimeters in length from the bottom to the, to the top cap, 81 grams. And this actually resells it on about 24 quid. So that's 24 quid for a fully adjustable razor guys that's good isn't it that is really really good so six settings but it actually goes beyond is it one two three very smooth action as well for the adjustment four five six now it goes back round to one so that's seven yeah so it, it's actually just seven settings because it goes from the one back round to the one and uh, i've never used it before it's my first impressions zinc alloy Okay, in there, I'm going to be using the uh, My Blade Silver, kindly sent by Chris Bedwell over at CB Shaves. If you've not heard of him, go and check him out. But I'm sure you have. Got an accent similar to mine. Okay, so I'll just take this apart for you. Brass handle. Just loosen the base. Loosen it even more. Top comes away. There's the zinc alloy top cap. And also, this entire handle comes away. So obviously this is the zinc alloy bit here. And this is the brass bit. And screws back on there. Of course it does. Of course it does. Okay, I'm going to put the blade in once I've got this apart because that would make sense, wouldn't it? First time using these blades also. I believe they're supposed to be environmentally friendly. Double wrapped, and you can tell by the paper that the blade's wrapped in, but it's uh, recycled paper. There we go, double wrapped, nice. There's the My Blades silver. Never used before. So drop that onto the underside of the base plate and drive it home there we go no exposure at the ends so the blades nicely concealed wow that's some uh, blade gap already there I think on second one now I've got some uh, settings here on my phone just going to quickly go through the blade gap of the settings. Now you've often heard me say the blade gap means nothing, only in the case of an adjustable razor where the jaws actually move up and down. That's the only time blade gap really means anything at all. Okay, so this being the zinc alloy head, they have brass heads, they have stainless steel heads, the blade gaps are different on all three heads. So this being the zinc alloy, we have position one. 0 0.9 millimeters position 2 1.05 millimeters position 3 1.15 millimeters position 4 1.3 millimeters position 5 1.45 millimeters and position 6 1.6 millimeters but as i said earlier it goes right around to seven so i would say it probably goes up to somewhere like 1.7 millimeters so uh, we shall see we shall see okay uh, also from Yaki, the ever hopeful green, the ever hopeful green, synthetic knot, good backbone, full silver tip, called cat's whiskers, that's what Yaki, Yaki called it, and as you can see, it's 24 millimeter. nice, there's a nice trio of brushes Yaki sent, so what for today, peppermint latte, master soap creations. <laughs> that is, <coughs> it really is nice. It's quite.
Okay, so pe a bit of peppermint in there also. Okay. Now, as you're aware, I came out on this trip without bringing in a lavering bowl, so I'm going to have to wet the bush and actually stick it into that lovely, lovely lava there. But, uh, I haven't even filled this thing. I haven't even wet the bush, but who cares, eh? Got it. I think I've got about 36 hours growth. Something around about that. I do apologise, I should have done all this water business earlier, but I've just had my petit déjeuner, which is stocky cornflakes with warm milk. A very doughy croissant, it was just doughy. I mean, it wasn't pleasant at all. And cheese and ham. The usual stuff you get when you're uh, in France. That's why when you're British, you can't wait to get back home for bacon and eggs. Then we'll just go straight into the salt here. The sink will be full soon, I hope. Yeah, uh, smell of peppermint coming off this uh, soap, really nice. It's a very elastic soap I find, that's what it looks like anyway, as I'm lathering this bush from the book. Okay. Jim, you've got the tap on. Yeah, no. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Wow, that's going on thick and dry. Peppermint latte. Obviously, tallow based. That is nice. Get some water into the mix. I'm dipping the entire knot here, not just the tips. Yeah, sink's leaking. The lavas are splashing. I like about this handle, it's so easy to grip. Just grip it like that when you're doing your main splaying, your main lathering. Yeah, so I'm using an unknown blade that I've never used before, and uh, a brand new uh, razor. I'll do that because everybody else does it. I'm the only scruffy person who seems to stand there smothered in lather. Lovely cooling effect of that uh, peppermint. Okay, so I'm on position number one now. We'll take it up to four. As I say, I'm being cautious because I don't know what it's going to do. Here we go. Lots of blade feel. Number four. I would imagine ramping this up to the top of the shop it probably equal or surpass the most uh, aggressive razors out there today well I'll probably have to try it with seven more blades that I'm used to to uh, prove that point final course what a name for a razor excellent
<laughs> yeah, I'm cursed by uh, the, the wash basin plug again. Don't work. I don't know what it is with hotels. On wash basin plugs. Oh, that's great, great blade feel. Oh, lovely. It's really nice. Oops. I nearly went against the grain there by accident. I just had intended only going into the nostril. But I felt resistance. Whew. That's some efficient beast, this guys. 24 quid. Yeah. Retails around about 24 quid. So if you're thinking about investing in a, an adjustable razor, and you want to dip your toes in the water to see what it's like. 24 quid. Can't go wrong. Loving the blade feel. I don't think that's so much above this pussetti now. That was awesome for this pass. It really was. Awesome. That's cool now. The peppermint latte. I wonder what makes a soap manufacturer say, right, I'm gonna make a soap. I'm gonna make it smell like peppermint latte. I don't know, but I'm glad they do. So yeah, some Awesome, weird, and wonderful scents, aren't we? Okay. I just said that really posh, didn't I? I said, okay. Didn't mean to, guys. I'm gonna go down to number three. I think it's number three. Let's go and check. Yeah, number three. Getting old, guys. Cross the grain. I love this razor. You instinctively know that a very light touch is required. Seems to be a lot of difference between set and three and set and four. Sure, of course, something there, like a little spot. I felt there's a little bit of resistance on the blade. Like it crashed into something. Yeah, heck of a difference. Yeah, it did. Doesn't count. It's not a weeper, it's a spot of gold. Thing is, why didn't I catch it on the first pass when I had it set on all aggressive setting? There. It's not for chumps.
Do me a little cheat. That's an awesome cooling effect. Yeah, I used to hear if someone was scared of Paris. Excellent weather. The sun was out. I actually stood outside, uh, letting the sun rays hit the face. It's uh, raining today. Do me pre pick up pickups. Because I know, I know they'll still be there after the shave. Okay. Gonna go down to number two for the Against the Green Pass. Oh, that's cold now. Well, I was spinning out, so I haven't got. I would like more lava than this, that's why I uh, like to bowl lava. I find I have more control and uh, it's always nice to have a bowl of lava, just go back to it. That's nice and cold. Yep, okay. Here's the green. Again, massive difference now, I've stepped it down by one notch. I reckon probably 7.2, 7.3, great daily driver settings on these. Nicely done under the nose. Little bit of a struggle on this side, but there always is on that side. Now for those who've never seen me before, I do often get little blood spots because I'm a spotty person. I get little spots all the time. Minute, minute ones that you can't see. But the blade just catches. Oh, I don't worry about it. When I was a teenager, I had, uh, had a face like a place of baked beans, you know, and uh, been cursed ever since. Sometimes the problem would be so bad that I uh, can't upload for a, a week or two. Because it wouldn't be very pleasant. Wouldn't make good TV. You know, like a Dracula movie. <laughs> Now I've used this soap before in a sample. I think it was Craig Will sent me the sample. It was Craig who actually sent me this, uh, sold me this soap. He had to make room because he was uh, investing in a lot more sterlings. So uh, he did the sensible thing. Not like me. He actually moved so well before we uh, reinvest him. I'm an idiot. I keep hold of everything. <clears throat> but I have started to send stuff out now. Excellent cooling effect. I am BBS all over. Very impressive, very impressive. Such a low cost razor. Have a shake slash, give it a shake. Master's Occasions, it's not alcohol based. Witch Hazel and Aloe. Ooh, that's nice. Smell that. That's proper peppermint latte, that. It's great when uh, a splash of soap is uh, a common scent, you don't have to describe it too much. 
It's getting into my eyes. <laughs> no, that is nice. Hello. Damn it, it's actually burning into the skin. Woo! Big time. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah. It's burning anyway. <laughs> okay, let's do the recap. Raise of today was the Yorchi, the final cut, brass handle, zinc alloy head, sorry my eyes are streaming here, uh, adjustable, excellent, excellent budget razor, if you want to get, uh, break into the adjustable scene, and yeah, woman and order, get this, 24 quid, can't go wrong, perfect, excellent shaver, very impressed with it, would I recommend it, yeah. So for today, Master Soul Creations from South Africa, Cafe Latte, Peppermint Latte, and it's still burning into the eyes. Uh, brush for today was the Archie Ever Hopeful Green. Blade was the uh, My Blade. First use, first ever use of one of these blades. And the splash was matching after shave splash. Whoa. I'm burning away here, burning away. Okay guys, thanks very much for joining us. It's been a pleasure. Thanks for all the recent likes, comments, subscribers. I appreciate you all. Okay guys, enjoy the rest of the weekend. Stay safe, take care. Bye now.